But I think it's a sign of the times. And there are many things happening that are unraveling and in a period of crisis. And I thought this isn't only on the world stage, it's also in our own lives. We may have had a, a high, we may have based on, on that high had an awakening. And then at some point later, we don't expect it. It catches us by surprise but there's an unraveling leading to a crisis. I think that is a common pattern that has appeared in many people's lives. And the question is, how do we handle that? How do we deal with this process? I thought that in a time of crisis in particular, the time that we're in now, one has to dig deep. One has to refine re one's authenticity and in particular, one's spiritual authenticity and re-find one's spiritual identity and come to a point where one can regenerate from that. That's a very different way of viewing what's going on. And the tendency in more is to think, well, there's something wrong. And uh, to think that there's nothing one can do about it, not seeing the opportunity to regenerate in the time of crisis. So in dealing with the regeneration, it requires that one be inspired and refine that positive action, that new energy. And we're looking at that. We're looking at how do we navigate our way through this time of uncertainty? How do we rediscover our relationship, the evolving morphic field, how do we see what is happening in a clear way and see what we've not seen? One of the things that we need to do is learn how to regenerate, how to be skilled at managing and regenerating our own atmosphere. That's the atmosphere immediately around our own individual body and take care of what seems invisible, but actually has a big effect on our lives, if we are, our spiritual experience or our philosophy is only on the surface level, then we're not taking care of what could be described as the auric field. And yet there's a way of doing that, finding connection, finding authenticity, and doing something that is a generative act. And I thought it's good to recognize that good to be involved in a, in a generative act. And I found very often reading, engaging as we are doing now across the world, responding, writing, are all generative acts, ways of finding our expression, ways of taking what we know into another level, ways of finding ways to, to be of service and to be, to have that in our experience. And then we can start to express something that is uplifting, something of quality, something genuine, and allow the cycle of change to happen in our lives. Because of that, we can be a blessing to the world. There is a need for people who will re-engage, reset, rebuild, reignite, who people who bring the new expression, bring perspective, bring understanding, into what is a dysfunctional pattern. Many people will feel that they're being, they're in a downward spiral, in a vortex going down. But we are here to take responsibility to allow the transformation in our own experience become real, become our experience, and to find that momentum so that we can carry forth, can move forth and rediscover what is our position within the evolving morphic field.